Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, DeepSeek R1's new version was launched, which was quite good, and it made it much better in coding and everything. It started to be awesome in front-end tasks, and great at overall coding as well. It came a lot closer to Gemini 2.5 Pro in the benchmarks, and was really a great improvement. It definitely went a bit unnoticed, due to a lot of other models that also got released around the same time. Anyway, since that got updated, another thing also got updated in order to support that model fully, and also give you many more capabilities, and this is DeepSight. If you remember, a while back I had covered DeepSight, which was a hugging face space that used DeepSeek and allowed you to make some really good one-page apps with it. The magic of it was that you could edit the code yourself, ask for more changes, and do more such stuff. It was really great, and it has now got an update. It is now called DeepSight V2, and I thought I should tell you guys about it as well. It has now received some awesome updates that make it much better than before, and that's why I wanted to talk about this. Now, if you don't remember or know about DeepSight, then you might wonder what DeepSight is. Well, it's quite simple. It's a hugging face space that lets you use the new DeepSeek R, one as well as the DeepSeek V3, one model for free, and create some impressive things with it. It's open source, so you can view the code and even duplicate the space to use it according to your needs. Previously, it was good, but it was pretty bare bones and lacked some quality of life features. But now, it is much better looking with a good amount of new features. So, on the left, you can see the editor-like interface. Here, you can see the code of what is rendered on the right. It uses the Monaco editor, I think, which makes it quite similar to VS Code, as that is also based on Monaco. You can also edit the code manually here if you want to, which is also awesome. But then, you also have the prompt box here. This is very obvious. And you can type whatever it is that you want to generate as well. You can easily type in your prompt, and then send it, and use that accordingly. But you can also see this option here. Clicking, this opens up a tooltip that basically allows you to redesign any site with the prompt you give. It allows you to give it a URL of the site that you want to redesign, and then write the prompt in here and use that accordingly. This is really good for quickly iterating on some new design ideas for your site. This was not available in the previous iterations, so this is quite good. Anyway, you also get this option to invite people. This allows you to just share this space with others. And then you have the main option that allows you to set up the model and provider that you want to use. It is free and doesn't cost any money to use, but they give you the option to customize the model to be either DeepSeek V3 or R1, or change the provider if some of them don't work, or if there is some issue, or if you want to have a faster speed. This is a really good option because you can choose the V3 model and Samba Nova for super fast speeds as well while you can also use the other providers and R1 model as well. You can choose which provider you like best and use that. You can also choose the auto provider, which is recommended, as it will automatically check the uptime and use the best provider automatically as well. Anyway, then you have the preview at the right, which you can see here and everything. You can also change the view layout to be just preview in order to check what your preview looks like and stuff. You also have another option called Load Existing Project. This will basically allow you to give it a hugging face space, and then it can fetch the code from there and import that, allowing you to edit the code in there accordingly. Which is pretty awesome if you ask me. You also have the option to save the project once it is done so that you can fire it up again and continue at any time, which was not previously possible either. Then, 
If we look at the bottom, you also have the option to create new projects and switch between them. This allows you to basically spawn multiple deep site instances and ask them to work on different tasks, which is quite good. You can also change the aspect ratio of the preview to check for responsiveness on mobile devices as well. You can also refresh the preview here, and you also have the deep site gallery option here, which shows you community generated projects as well. That is mainly all the changes, but let's try to build something with it as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all in one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT 4.0, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and five videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. I'm going to ask it to make me an image cropper tool. Now, in the settings, make sure that you have selected the DeepSeek R1 model because that works the best here. Anyway, now we can send the request over and you'll see that in a bit, it will start the streaming. Since this is the thinking mode, it will open up this modal-like thing and it will show the thinking traces here, which looks quite good. You can see what's going on and stuff like that. And then, in a bit, you'll see that the reasoning should finish, and the code will start to get written, which will be immediately updated in the code box as well. It is really reliable, and the system prompt of this is something great, because the apps that it generates in just one file are kind of awesome. Like, I am unable to give it such good UI and stuff with simple prompting, but the system prompt here Make sure to get every last drop of the performance. And it is also fast as well. In a bit, it gets done. And you can see the preview over here, which looks awesome. Like, it actually works here. I can upload an image, and it will just allow me to edit it with a ton of features and everything. And this is actually usable. It really comes in handy to build small apps that you can share with others, or keep for your use, and make some stuff super simple. Anyway, now you can also ask it for edits. So, what you can do is go over here and enter whatever it is that you want to be changed, or if you want to edit a specific element, then you can also use this edit option, which is really awesome as well. You can either use the apply diff patch option, or not use it. Diff patch will be faster as it will just change the specific lines for the change you want instead of rewriting the whole file from scratch, which was an issue in the previous iteration. So, this is good. You can also hit this Save option, and this will get this app deployed to a personal hugging face space that you can share with others and let others use the app or edit it as well. You can also go back to a previous iteration through the option at the bottom as well. That is mainly how it works. It has some quirks, like it only generates one file apps, but that is also great for some cases where you need super portable apps. You can also duplicate this space and use it yourself, or you can also run it locally in a Docker container, which is also great. That is how it works, and you can go ahead and use it all you want as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.